Hey guys, Jack Griffin here, and welcome to a new video. I know, it's been a while, but we're back now. And we're going to start off with something new. Now, this is going to be oh, a series I'm going to be doing from now on called Open Night, which this is taken from Big Jack Films. Shout out to him, he's a great YouTuber. Um, and yeah, so this I'm just going to be reviewing films, basically, that I've seen. Kung Fu Panda 4 will be coming out next week. I don't know when, but definitely will be coming out next week. So this is the first one. Today, we're going to be looking at, well, basically, just our Nick Nigger Kung Fu. So about an hour ago, well, basically, I've just gotten out of seeing Godzilla X Kong The New Empire, which is the latest, well, the fifth Monsterverse film in the series. But was it the best? We'll have to find out. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the film yet, I am going to be, I will be talking non-spoilers, so I'm just going to give a basic, spoiler free, and then later on I'm going to be talking about spoilers, So, but I will give you guys a warning when I am going to talk about spoilers. So there you go. Oh, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, now, just just before we get into this, one, don't forget to like and subscribe. 20 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. We've got to get there. Number two, I'm just going to just quick, quickly recap what my thoughts are on the rest of the Monsterverse films. So, um, Godzilla, the first one. It's... Oh, okay. I agree. Out of all the Monsterverse films, this is the worst one. Godzilla is cool, and the Mutos are cool, but Godzilla's barely in the film, because they he's barely on screen, and the human characters are so boring. There are a few that shone, but yeah, this film's very boring, and the fact that it's over two hours, just, yeah. So yeah, I'm on the side of people that don't like Godzilla 2014. I know some people like it, which is good, but... I just found this one to be a bit boring. Had some moments which I liked, but yeah. Kong Skull Island, a massive improvement over Godzilla. It was lots of fun. Oh, lots of monsters. We got Sea Kong for a lot of the time. The fights were in the daytime. We could clearly see Kong, and it was really brutal. But the characters were good. It was it was it was basically a really big fun film, and it was an improvement over Godzilla. So that was good. I do like Skull Island. I actually saw it when I was seven. Surprisingly, oh, but it's weird because on the DVD it says it's a 15, but it's actually rated a 12. But now I'm 15, so technically now I am that age. So yeah, I'm allowed to. Hmm. Oh, so yeah, Kong Skull Island, a really good film. King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters was the first monster this film I have actually seen in cinemas. Godzilla, this is the Godzilla film we all want. It's so much fun. The monsters, King Ghidorah, beautiful villain, really good. Moth from Rodan, beautiful. And the human characters were good. I know people say it's boring, but I actually did like the human characters. Oh, um, it didn't deserve to do as well as it did in the box office. Or technically, I should say how low it did at the box office. Should have done better. Because this film was really good. And, oh, oh, daddy, 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 daddy. And I think it, I think it, it is my second favorite monster this film. I, as I would that with GBK. Daddy, daddy. But yeah, improvement over the first Godzilla film. This one was a much better film. Daddy, and the monsters were really great. It was a really fun film. They're just really big fun films. Daddy, Godzilla vs. Kong, then. I actually watched it last night to, um... To pre prepare myself for G GXK. GVK. It was the monster showdown we've, we've been waiting so long for. We finally got it. Uh, but I watched it. Ah, uh, uh, daddy, daddy. I watched it daddy, at home on streaming. But apparently it was in cinemas. But I checked and apparently it was in cinemas. But apparently what my girlfriend at the time went and saw it. So I'm like, what? When was it coming out? 
no one tells me anything. So yeah, I missed out on the biggest showdown in cinema. At cinemas. Oh, well, on, in, yeah, in the cinema. I missed out. But it was still a really fun film. Mechagodzilla was really great. We got to see them go at it. Couldn't talk. Oh, the human characters, people complain these are the weakest human characters. I really, I actually liked the human characters. Some of them were a bit bland, but it was fine. Out of all the people, though, that I thought could have, you know, maybe acted a bit more, I know this is going to be a hot take, but I actually think Gia could have been a bit better. So, I know, it's not that I don't think K Kayleen Hottle, or Kaylee Hottle, I is, who plays Gia, not that she's doing a bad job, it's just that every time she's on screen, she's just miserable. She's like, she's, just, she's got a sad look on her face, and I'm like, girl, smile, please. That's all I want. But other than that, she was fantastic. And the fights were great. It just gave us everything we wanted. Oh, you just give him twat. So yeah, the monster in films overall have been good. Well, except for 2014. And now it brings us to GXK. Or Godzilla X Kong and the New Empire. This has been the film we've been waiting for for so long. We've been so hyped for this film. Is it good? And is it the best monster verse film? Let's get into it. So, like I said, I'm just going to be doing non-spoiler reviews. So, if you haven't seen it, just carry on watching, and I'll tell you when when you can go. So, straight up, what? So what? Okay, so what's the plot of this film? Oh. It's ba okay. So it's basically Kong's in the Hollow Earth. Godzilla's doing it, doing his own thing. Kong and Kong basically he comes across these apes, and he realizes, oh, there might actually be more of me down there. And he comes across all the apes, and he finds out he's not actually the last of his kind. But they're under the rule of an evil ruler called the Scar King. Aided by the ancient frost titan, Shimo. So now, Kong has to get the help of Godzilla, and they've got to go at it, defeat Scar King and Shimo, while we're going into an accident, and save the world from potential World War Three. And also the humans actually just try and solve something going on with Gia. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically the plot. It's nothing... The plot is actually pretty good, to be fair. So, so what did I think of this film straight up? This film is honestly... <laughs> it's really good. I gotta say, this might actually be my favourite Monsterverse film. It's really good. I had an absolute blast. I went with my girlfriend to go see this. And I'm very surprised she enjoyed it as well. It was an absolute blast. I had so much fun. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I'm just going to start off simple. I'm going to talk about the humans. Then I'll talk about the monsters. And then I'll just talk about some other stuff. So, and what this is one of the biggest co cock concerns. Concerns. Cock. For the monster of the films. The humans are often very bland according to people. Not me. I've, I'm fine with all of them. Well except 2014's. Shit. No shush. Anyway. So yeah. The human characters. To most of the other people. They're often very bland. And forgettable. And they're not interesting. Because. Well that's why we go to see these films. For the monsters obviously. But we do need some humans to tell the story. So one of the biggest concerns, cock concerns, that we need to know, are the humans any good in this film? Honestly? And I'm generally, I'm not coming from because I actually do like all the human characters. I'm fine with the humans. I'm actually coming from what every, all the fans want, that don't like the humans. They're actually really good. In fact, I think these are the best monsters humans ever. They're really fun. Uh, uh, so, I've got to start talking about them, obviously. <laughs> Let's start with Dr. Eileen Andrews. Once again, played by Rebecca... Oh, God, Rebecca Hall. She's fine in this. Oh, she's basically more of the like companion to Gia. I love her and Trapper's um, dynamic. That was really fun. She and Bernie have a sort of, like, dynamic thing. Um, she said that apparently they met in Hong Kong, which I'm guessing they must have done off-screen. 
because well we need to see it in GXK. So there we go. Hang on, I'm just gonna hang on actually. Yes, it's a yes, it's a McDonald's. Yes. It's a McDonald's. Moving on. Oh. So she's basically just there. She was a fine character to follow. She doesn't do anything new. She basically just dumps a whole lot of knowledge, which actually is not her fault. She finds that out literally, but yeah, she's fine. So she's a very fine character, just basically the same as she was in the first film. Couldn't try. try. Oh, um, oh, oh. Dan Stevens as Trapper. Actually, my favourite character in this film. I love he and he and Eileen's relation, like dynamic. It was really fun. I love his and Bernie's like friendship. Honestly, they literally are. My, to be fair, they have such a good dynamic. My girlfriend actually was like, "Oh, are they gay?" I mean, they have a good dynamic. Well, obviously, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're not gay, so. No, but they had a really good dynamic. It was actually really, like, ad literally, it was adorable to watch. But Tra Trapper was just so cool. Basically, ah, uh, ah, uh, working as a Titan dentist. The bravest human I've ever seen. Ah, uh, it's good. Ah, uh, and he's so laid back and chill. Pop track it. Because Dan Stevens is... British because he's English the accent is just really it's really nice to like hear that oh and he's ba he can try he's basically replacing Alexander Skarsgård as Nathan Lynn he's basically replacing Nathan which we we don't actually find out why he's not in this I'm guessing he just had to he just left and went on his own way just did, went back to doing his own stuff and left Kong I'm guessing I'm guessing that's just what it happened but Tra Trapper is still a really fun character Maybe even more than Nathan Lynn, actually. Yeah, it's actually more fun. And then we get... Right, so Trapper definitely the best character in this. Dan Stevens stole the show. Oh, um... Couldn't... Brian Tyree Henry as B Bernie. I feel like Bernie was a bit more comedic in this. He was a lot more less serious. He was a bit much, but... He was, he was still a really funny and fun character to go and watch, you know. It was fun. Oh, um, he struggled with his podcast, which is sad. I just love him documenting everything on the Hollow Earth, how he begs to go there. And he ends up being a really funny guy. <laughs> Gia. Right, let's talk about Gia. Gia is basically... Gia actually has a really good arc in this. However, um, I do feel like we're kind of giving her too many connections. Like, she's connected to Kong, and then she's connected to this one other Titan, which I will go into on spoilers. <laughs> but I feel like I don't want them to turn Gia into just, oh, she has connections to every single Titan. Titan, no. She's on Skull, she was on Skull Island, bruv. How she's not gonna she's not gonna know the other Titans. But she actually had a really nice art. Uh, we saw like struggling in school. Um we got to see it reunite. It was it was in the trailer. We got to see a reunite with the like Iwi people. Which were really nice. Um the Iwi people were actually uh, quite good in the story actually. Um it's really like a big Gia story. And but Kayleen Hartle does a really good job. She doesn't interact with Kong a lot. I actually, oh, they actually, oh, they actually only have one scene where they actually, you know, connect. So for those who wanted more Gia and Kong, you're only really going to get it once. But it was still a nice scene nonetheless. So Gia, I think, actually gets a, a lot more character development in this. And it was really good. It is Gia's story. So there you go. And her and Eileen Andrews chemistry... It was great as always. It was actually quite sad at the end. Um, not for the reasons you think. Oh. But, um. It couldn't. Yeah. Oh. It was good. 
Geo without Joe really good char character to follow in this. Couldn't do it. Oh. We get this Scottish, like, captain thing, who was the closest, he was actually really the, the no, he's, he's the only human villain we get. Gabe couldn't do that. Oh. I liked his character, but as soon as he started insulting, you know, ha, ha, ha. Oh, he started insulting the group. Ha, ha. Oh, that's when I'm like, okay. And as soon as he started acting like a douche, I was like, he's going to die. He's going to get eaten. Oh. He's the only character who is not, like, from the first film or he's been introduced for a reason. <laughs> he's not the male lead. He's not a character from the previous film. He's going to die. I knew he was going to die. And he does. And he gets eaten by a tree. What a great way to go out, honestly. And yeah, there are other human characters, like, there's this Australian chick that, like, is friends with Eileen Andrews, and she, like, monitors Godzilla and that. Eileen Andrews actually, like, takes a lot more weary of Godzilla. Like, she knows, you know, she's tracking him a lot more. Which is nice to see, because um, it's nice to know that, I mean, she is part of Monarch. Like, she can't just focus on Kong all the time. I mean, they are the two alphas, but still. Make, yeah, but it makes sense to focus on Godzilla as well. Oh, ha 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 But yeah, ha 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 That's pretty much it for the human cast. There actually, there actually isn't as many as I thought there'd be. Ha. Which is nice, but they're all fun. Ha. They're all really nice to follow. Oh gosh. I'm really thirsty for some reason. Probably all the salt or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, the human cast was really fun. I think the best human cast in the monster is. Hope, get, and I think fans are going to have a good time with them. And you're still going to be entertained even when the monsters aren't on screen. So, yeah, you'll be glad to hear about that. But, now it's time. You all know what it is. Let's talk about the monsters. So let's start off with the mainish monster, the biggest one, obviously, Kong. Yes, like GVK, this is a Kong story. Oh, ha -ha. And he is the main character in this. This is as much Kong story as it is Gia's story. Kong goes through this twat. Really good arc in this. We get to see how merciful he is as well. He, it, like, he'll beat down a titan and give it a chance to say, oh, su uh, surrender. And if the titan doesn't surrender, Kong's like, right, that's it. I've told you, you didn't listen, I'll kill you. He does this um, with one of the apes. Like, he saved him from falling off a cliff. The ape then picked up, the, like, the dagger thing and was going to stab him. And then Kong just shoves him off the cliff. Ha, 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 ha. And we really, you know the saying, Kong bows to no one, like in the previous film? Yeah, we get to see that really here. Oh. There's a scene where the apes are chasing him, and Kong, they, they, he's trapped in a, uh, like, a gorge. And there's, like, four apes there with weapons. What do, and he's got an injured arm as well. What does Kong do? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Does he try and climb? Ha, ha, ha. No, he puts his fists up. He's re even though they've got weapons, he's got bare fists. He's ready to fight, even though like he could die. He's not going to bow down to anyone, and that's why Kong is one of the best titans because he bows to no one. Oh. Which is something that I really appreciate about Kong. He's actually probably ha ha ha. He is the titan that has the most story, probably because he is an ape, and. You know, how similar apes and humans are. Probably because of that. But he has a really good arc. We get to see him as well interact with, like, Hollow Earth. Getting used to the Hollow Earth. Uh, he's basically, like I said, uh, he's gotten used to the Hollow Earth by now. But he's still trying to find his place. He keeps, you know, wonder, trying to find others of his kind. Because that's the whole reason he went down there in the first place. And every time he thinks he hears them, then it's not them. But we really get to see him here. I love his reaction when he sees all the others of his kind. Ha 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 ha
ha ha ha ha And we really get to see how Kong treats us with, with ha ha ha. Kong is a saviour to um, them. Ha. Oh, there's this one gorilla that get, gets beaten down by one of the higher ranked uh, apes. And Kong just, oh, ha ha ha. And Kong reaches out his hand and helps him up. And the ape, I love this, the gen, the, like, the ra, oh, ha ha, like, the guard ape ha, gets in his face. He's, he's, and in, in monkeys, they say, like, why'd you do that? You don't do that. What does Kong do? Bam, punches him straight down, knocks him out, or kills him, I think. I think, I'm guessing knocks him out. And and then everyone's like, oh, gosh, he did it. And then, of course, the, oh, the guard goes and informs the Scar King. Which I'll talk about the Scar King in a bit. But, yeah, Kong is, in my opinion, in terms of character wise, the best Titan in this film. We really get to resonate with him. And, yeah, it was actually a really nice t story about him, I think. Godzilla. Godzilla is basically the side like plot he's basically getting ready for the moment godzilla in this film is going round, getting as much radiation basically how can i describe godzilla's side story until he meets up with kong getting a crap load of radiation and killing titans that's basically godzilla oh ha <laughs> ha he's not in it as much as GVK, <laughs> but he is still really good. Um, oh, ha 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 I did have, like, two problems with him, however. Oh. One was that he's just killing Titans for no reason. I get, right, I get, well, spoiler, well, as you know, we saw sorry in the trailers. I get Scylla, because Scylla has fought Godzilla, even after she bowed down to him. This was a rematch. Ha ha ha. And he kills her though because she's still not going to bow down to him ever. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's just like... And then he goes... Well, technically this is a... <laughs> now, she was not showing the trailers. I'll talk about that. But he also fights another kaiju. He fights another titan. <laughs> and he just kills her. Because... Ha 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 ha. Even though she tried to kill him. Ha <laughs> ha. Technically, Godzilla went into her domain. So basically, he's breaking in. <laughs> and that Titan had every right to fight him. And Godzilla just straight up kills her. Which I'll talk about in a bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I kind of didn't get that Godzilla was just going around killing Titans. And there's also the thing that Godzilla, I feel like he's more reckless in this film. He actually feels like, compared to the other films where he's more, because he's the king of the monsters, he's, he's the alpha, he's, 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 more, he's meant to be a bit more wiser, but also still have a bit of fun. He's very, he acts like a teenager in this film, he's very reckless, like literally he will just stomp through buildings, destroy them, he doesn't even care, he just goes through. The other Godzillas <laughs> Yes, he did. He did destroy buildings. Yeah, he did destroy buildings, but he he didn't want to either. It was because he had no choice, or ha ha ha, ha or the kaiju he was fighting made him. Here he's just slicing through everything. He's slicing through buildings. He's crashing through bridge. No, slicing through bridges, crashing through buildings. Godzilla does not give a damn in this film, but then again, I kind of like it. Um, his new evolved form is really cool as well. Oh, ha ha, ha 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 ha. Um, ha ha. And it was really nice to see him again. And yeah, the big G man. But I feel like the whole point of Godzilla in this film was for him to go to sleep. <laughs> he's in the Colosseum sleeping, but then he's like, oh god, gotta get on the move again. And then at the end, at the end of the film, he just goes back to the Colosseum and goes to sleep again. Oh, bless Godzilla. He needs his sleep. But yeah, I thought... And then when he's back with Kong, it was really good. Their fight was really... Was good. He actually basically did the same thing as he did in GVK. And almost killed Kong if it wasn't for a spoiler. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, Godzilla, I did feel like... 
he was more reckless in this film, which I, I thought didn't really make sense. Ha 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 ha. But he was still really fun to watch. Ha ha. Right. Suko, aka Mini Kong. And the kaiju, which, my, as expected, my girlfriend went, Aww, he's cute. <laughs> is Suko annoying? No. Is Suko a little devil? Yes. Oh, God, that voice crack. Yes. Ha ha ha. Suko's actually. He has a really good story in this. Ha ha ha. He works for Scar King. I'm guessing this was. Ha ha. And he's basically bait for the apes that ambush Kong. Ha ha. To lure Kong in. Ha ha. He's a little devil at times. Like when Kong reaches out his hand to him, the little bastard. Shut up. The little devil bites his hand. Bastard bitch. Ha ha. And then. He, I love in the first thing Zuko just grabs onto Kong's face and just claws at him. Ha ha. Like a little gremlin in Kong. Ha ha. And for a good bit, oh, ha ha. Kong literally just has to patrol Suko. Ha ha. And like bellows at him. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Like Suko is a little devil, but he can cause a good bit of damage. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. But I love his and Kong's bond. Ha. As time goes on, Suko starts to appreciate Kong more. Ha 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 Kong and Suko have a really good bond. Ha 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 ha. And he ends up saving Kong several times. So I really like their bond in this film. Suko was actually a really nice. Ha, was a really nice like character. Ha 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 ha. And I loved him. He was adorable. Ha 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 ha. Right. Now it's time to get on to the villains. <laughs> right, now this was a concern people also had due to the footage in the trailers. But the question is, is Scar King a powerful threat? Can he stand his own against Kong or other Titans? <laughs> and is he a good villain? Heck yeah, he is. Oh my god, this has to be, next to Ghidorah, the most psychopathic villain the Monsterverse has ever had. Ha 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 ha. Scar King is ruthless. He's a psychopath. Ha 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 ha. Nigga couldn't. He will literally kill. Ha 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 ha. Even though Kong's a bit taller than him. Ha ha. He can assert dominance, my god. Ha <laughs> ha. And Scar King laughs in this film. Oh my god. The laugh is so ha <laughs> ha evil. <laughs> they really made Scar King this evil ruler and I love it. Ha ha ha. And he's do you wanna know how psychopath like evil he is? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Suko's like carer. I don't know if it's his, his parent or something. <laughs> ha ha ha. Scar King ha basically has a go at Suko. Ha ha. Like the parent's like, no, don't harm harm him. <laughs> Scar King it looks like he's gonna go retreat. Ha ha. He pushes Suko's ha ha, the ape into the lava and kills him. Ha ha. And that and that whip, oh my god, ha ha ha. <laughs> Even to his own bodyguards, he roars in their face and pu like pushes them aside. <laughs> and the whip, oh my god, that whip! He slices, he bite, ha <laughs> ha. He punches, ha 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 ha. He uppercuts, ha <laughs> ha. He gets, he's literally, ha <laughs> ha, like ha <laughs> ha, like jumps on Kong, like kind of somersaults, ha <laughs> ha. Naked, ha <laughs> ha. Wraps it around Kong's neck and nearly suffocates him to death, ha ha ha. But Kong manages to whip him off. <laughs> but Scar King, like I said, is whipping, he's slicing, he's punching. <laughs> he's ruthless. Ha 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 When he gets onto the when, but when he's in Brazil, oh my gosh, when he's in Brazil, oh, ha, ha, ha. he looks down at the people on the beach. He smiles and then roars. Ha <laughs> ha. 
and Skarking freaking goes at Kong. So, yeah, now, yes, he does get his butt kicked quite a bit, but, haha, don't worry, he does fight back a lot more, and he lands a really good amount of punches and hits, don't worry, he fights really well, ha ha ha, ha ha this might actually be my second favourite monster, this villain, ha 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 ha, the only thing beating it, obviously, is Ghidorah, Actually, no, ha <laughs> ha, it's tied with Mechagodzilla, Godzilla, ha ha ha, but yeah, can't beat Ghidorah, because you can't be a free-headed dragon that shoots lightning and can regenerate its heads, I'm sorry, it can't be done, but Scar King was a really good villain, ha 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 ha, his history was great, and he was such a pleasant villain to watch, he actually doesn't appear to like halfway, f like half an hour through the film, but that's fine. We get a lot of goodness in that time, so that's fine. Ha ha ha. Right. They kept her hidden for so long, and we finally saw her in the film. Shimo time. What did I think of Shimo? Oh, ha 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 ha. Shimo is just as good. Ha, she's beautiful. Ha ha ha. I love... I mean, the biggest titan we've seen yet, even bigger than Ghidorah, like, on hind legs. Ha ha ha. She's so powerful, she's so beautiful. Ha ha. Her fights with Godzilla are cool. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, when she's revealed, it's so cool. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. When Scar King is riding her, it's so good. Ha ha. Good. And then, oh my gosh. So, obviously, we know that it's a crystal Scar King uses that controls her. Um, ha, ha, ha. So, when... Well, technically, it's not spoilers. Ha, 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 ha. So, kind of spoilers, but at the end, Suko destroys the crystal and breaks it. Ha. When Shimo, like, is freed, ha, she just... Bless her. She opens her mouth. She looks so confused. Like, what's going on? Like... Why am I here? Ha 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 ha. Bless her. <laughs> and then the ending. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha. At the end, when Sh Sh Shimo turns good. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. She basically becomes Kong's like dog. <laughs> he literally pets her and strokes under her chin. Gives her a right doggy. Ha <laughs> ha. Like a dog pat. Bless her, Shimo was honestly so adorable in the film, yet so beautiful. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. They're saying she was the first Titan. Ha 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 ha. Really good. And she fights really well. And it's not just, oh, Scar King is a weak villain and Shimo does the work. No, Shimo does do quite a bit of the work, but Scar King, like I say, Scar King, thankfully, ha ha, can do a lot of damage. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. My god, Shimo was an absolute beautiful being thing to watch in this film. And she gets just about the same amount of screen time as Scar King. She gets a good amount of screen time. Don't worry, guys. You'll be satisfied. So the villains are good, thankfully. Ha ha ha. Scylla. Scylla is actually not in it for that long. Ha 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 ha. Scylla's basically... You know that footage of the fight in the trailer? Yeah, that's about all the fight we actually get with Scylla. Godzilla Dominion's fight was longer and way better. Ha ha ha. Godzilla, they meet, they clash, he chucks her. I love how Godzilla pounces on her. She wraps his tentacles around his snout. He just grabs her arms, gets the atomic breath. Bam! Right into her skull and the blood explodes. Honestly, there's, really, there's actually a really good amount of like gore in this film. <laughs> Which is really good for saying that it's a 12A. <laughs> and there were kids in the cinema. Well, there were lots of people in the cinema, which was really good. Like, nice like to see the cinema was packed to see this really cool monster film. <laughs> yeah, so, Scylla, it was nice to finally see her properly in live action. But, <laughs> yeah, the fight could have been better. Uh, well, maybe a bit longer, but, you know what, I didn't mind.